all right, I kind of, I lost track and I wasn't paying attention to the clock. Um, so anyway, I don't know where that cut us off there, but all of these were able to be divided by two, so they were all multiples of two. All right, so this number for this example is two. For him, it was not two. It was a much, much smaller number. Um, and he thought, okay, all of these numbers are different, but they are all composed of the same number. They have a common multiple. And he assumed that that one common multiple had to be the charge of one single electron because some of them were larger because they had more electrons on them. Some of them were smaller because they had less. All right, so he came out with this charge of the electron. Um, and I can't remember. It's like 2.2 .2 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs or something like that. It, that number's not important to us now. Uh, but that's the actual value of the charge that he found. It was a fantastic discovery. Um, and it governs a lot of things um, from the electricity that we pay for to the ways that computers uh, work and they communicate. It's a huge concept. All right, now, having said that, let's move on to the next concept. Come on. All right, now, we've done a lot of information, or a lot of talking about the electron. Let's talk now. Now we're going to run out of time. Hold on. Uh, we'll pick this up in the next one.